Hey there, YouTubers. I have been beating my head up against the wall trying to figure out how to deal with fruit flies in my compost. I've been doing some reading online. I'm here in Texas. There's a lot of people with this issue. Um, you read about adding more browns, and I read about a guy. He's like, I've added so many browns. I don't know what else to do. And, I, and I've tried that. I've tried a lot of different things with, um, you know, organically you don't want to put any kind of chemicals in there because you have a lot of good um, pests if you will I guess you wouldn't call them pests if they're good but you have a lot of um, good organisms that you don't want to kill so um, recently it was Valentine's Day and I told my wife I came up with an idea and I said I want one thing for Valentine's Day she went to Harbor Freight and got me a five dollar electric fly swatter um, the first two days I came out here quite a bit like five or ten minutes every hour just killing these um, fruit flies and it's made a huge difference and the way I'm doing it is um, I read people both have the garbage can type and they have the tumbler type which I have both as well and it's very user friendly when I first started opening this up like clouds of fruit flies were coming out now you see there's very few but I just stick my swatter in there and as I just beat on it and kill these fruit flies and over time I have been bringing the population of them down um, I didn't get to do it at all yesterday because I was busy but this is my first time doing it today a little thicker than I would like to see them but I read that each female can have 100 to 150 eggs in their lifetime so I assume this is going to take me a little while and I'm not thinking I don't think that I'm going to totally get rid of all the fruit flies and I think that's okay because um, they do help break down the compost some you know every every living creature that's in there really does but you want to just kind of keep control of it and I think this is a good way now that's how I do it with the tumbler and as you can see they kind of you get to the point where you're just not going to get any um, until you come back a little while later. Um, and after I get done beating on that side enough and killing what I think is enough, I just switch over to just kind of hit it on there to get them to fly around because they obviously don't like that. And the other thing I like about the fly water is if they land on something where I can't hit it, I just smash them with it. Here's one on the fence. I just take the water and just just smash them. Just kill as many as I can while I can. I think I've got them all in this one that I'm going to get. So I could, <clears throat> I'm going to do the other side, but the other thing is, is the trash can, which is relatively the same the concept. It's a little bit different. I just come in here with this and just hit the sides. And as they come flying up, I just kill as many of them as I can. And I'll do that, you know, periodically. You know, you got to put a little bit of time into it, but not much. And it seems to really be working. And like I said, this was five bucks. And she had to buy some D batteries for it, which are probably uh, more than the <laughs> electric flask water itself. But it gives it a good, firm, you know, it's a nice, heavy piece to use. But anyway, I uh, highly recommend it. And I'll keep doing it. And that's it. Kill some fruit flies.